Good afternoon, everyone. It was 24 years ago this January 31st that Bud Germifield lost his battle with esophageal cancer. He was a machinist working in an auto parts factory in Amherstburg, Ontario. He was um, contracted to do that work. He was exposed to metal working fluids for 31 years. When he passed on, he did leave a legacy. And it's that legacy that we recognize with our Bud Jimmy Field Award on an annual basis. And due to the uh, circumstances that we've been working under for the last two years, this is the Bud Jimmy Field Award for 2021. So the uh, award recipient for 2021 is Edward Steers from local 199 GM St. Catharines. Ed is a dedicated health and safety activist in his workplace. He ensures every single day that his members go home whole at the end of their work day. And it's not unknown for Ed to confront the employer on a regular basis, to arrive to meetings, and I've witnessed this, he comes with exhaustive amounts of research that he's done on particular issues that he's raising with the employer. His binders are legendary. Of He's left no stone unturned to ensure that the employer gets the message, the regulators get the message, decision makers get the message that it is unacceptable for workers to be in unhealthy situations in workplaces. And it is that kind of empathy, enthusiasm, and dedication that is being recognized today. And Ed is um, well known in his workplace as that activist, but also in the 24 units at Local 199, where he also extends his health and safety activism. So Ed, this is a great um, pleasure for me and an honor to be able to uh, present to you this award for Bud Jumer Field 2021. Please come forward, Ed. Congratulations, Ed. Did you want to say a few words? No. All right. Well, first off, I, I want to sincerely thank you for this award. Uh, I also want to thank my nominator and champion uh, Unifor Local 199 President Jordan Lennox for uh, putting my name forward. Personally, I, I don't seek recognition. I've always believed if you're doing a good job, if you're working in the right direction, uh, people will let you know. So thank you for letting me know. Uh, this is award is very nice. I've asked myself, uh, why me? What have I done to deserve this award? The answer that came to my mind was the challenge that I accepted from former CAW President Ken Luenza, who was speaking to a class I attended in Port Elgin 10 years ago. Ken was encouraging us to step up, to get involved with the union by asking us this question. If not you, then who? So I stepped up and I ran for and won an alternate trades rep position, but I found I needed more of a challenge. So when the, the term ended, I, I ran for the, the health and safety rep and have been doing this job for the past six years. And in our current election, I was acclaimed for another term. Our, uh, a senior manager at our plant congratulated me for uh, being acclaimed and I had to set them straight. Uh, I said, tongue in cheek, uh, it's a horrible job and nobody wants it. I can't even give it away. The job is tedious. It's like doing your taxes and looking for more deductions to claim and doing that every day. But for me, that was the challenge I needed. And uh, I've always enjoyed doing my own taxes. However, I can't do this job alone. I've, I've had uh, the help and support from a great local uh, union committee and great alternate health and safety reps. Uh, Mike Pagano and, and now Richard Piper. Uh, my committee chairs, uh, Tim McKinnon and now Trevor Longpre have also provided incredible support. 
And uh, quite frankly, I, I wouldn't be here uh, before you without all of their support. So uh, to everyone I work with, thank you all very, very much. Uh, I would like to dedicate this award to two uh, important people in my life uh, whose support have immensely contributed to my success and the success of our union. First, I want to acknowledge my, uh, the contribution of Mrs. Elaine Steers, my high school sweetheart and the love of my life, who chooses to share her life with me. We met in 1982, we married in 1988. We have two great kids who are well on their way, uh, establishing their own lives on a foundation we built for them. Elaine and I uh, have worked together to succeed on uh, every challenge that life puts before us, and she shares part of this award as much as I do. One example, uh, last summer I was fighting with the company as I often do, and only this time, I guess, I went a little too far and I was put on notice of discipline. She's often worried I'm going to get fired, so uh, I was reluctant to discuss this with her. And uh, the weekend came and our kids came home for a visit and, and what should have been a great family weekend wasn't because I was distracted by the arguments I was going to have with the company in the upcoming week uh, that were going on in my head. And after the kids left, uh, she bravely confronted me asking, uh, what's going on? So I apologize to her saying I, I didn't want to tell her because I didn't want to bring work home to her. And I'll for, never forget what she said. Well, guess what? You brought it home anyway. She was giving me permission to uh, unload, to decompress, and to help me take off the armor that I sometimes need to get through the day. And I'll, I'll, I'll forever be grateful to her for this. Example two, October 22nd, 2021. And despite all the work I've done to try and make St. Catherine's uh, propulsion plant as safe as it can be, one of my fellow coworkers, a 47 year employee, a man I worked with, admired and respected was killed on the job, doing a job I'm familiar with. It was literally the worst day of my life. And it began a two to week, three week period where it felt like I was standing in the eye of a hurricane. And when I got home to my wife that night after 7 p.m., after dealing with the Ministry of Labor and being part of their uh, investigation all day long, I thought of his wife as I looked at my wife. I thought to myself how our family would change, of how my wife would feel right now in this moment if I didn't come home from work. as his wife was feeling in this moment where her husband would never enter the house again. Thankfully, Elaine uh, allowed me to unload those feelings and together we cried in empathy for this man and his family and painfully uh, discussed the senseless tragedy. So uh, in October, in uh, 2019, there were 925 workplace fatalities recorded in Canada, and each one of them is a tragedy. And add to these fatalities, the uh, 271,000, thank you, 806 accepted claims for lost time due to work-related injury or disease. And it's not just these numbers and statistics on which we need to reflect. With each worker tragedy, there are loved ones, family members, friends, and coworkers who are directly affected left behind and deeply impacted and their lives also changed forever. So we still have so much more uh, work to do. The second person I wanted to dedicate this award to is former longtime CAW Local 199 GM Unit Health and Safety Representative John Pula. For many years, John worked uh, as Health and Safety Rep along with Bernie Hamilton at our GM St. Catharines Ontario Street plant and together they worked in the same era and in the same fight to lower our exposure to metal working fluids as Bud Jimmerfield. Uh, back before there was the internet and email uh, and Google, they tirelessly worked with OCAL and others to gather information and data to successfully convince the company that the work environment at the Ontario Street plant was making people sick. 
and the company needed to take steps to lower our exposure. I've always looked up to John Pula, and when I was elected health and safety rep, I reached out to John and we went for a coffee and he gave me some files. And then I found two file cabinets of his at work and I brought them to my office. And then he gave me some more files his wife wanted out of the, out of the house. And as time passed, he has become for me a mentor and a friend. In 2020, after a four year argument, I was able to finalize metal removal fluid guidelines for our plant, which included an annual voluntary medical surveillance program at the plant for workers who can now monitor their symptoms of exposure. And the work I've done and any success I've had improving the air quality at work is because I'm continuing to build on the work of John Pula, Bernie Hamilton and Bud Jimmerfield who were pioneered, who pioneered this work. On October 22nd, 2021, one of the first people to reach out to me and offer support was John Pula. During his time as health and safety rep at Ontario Street, he also experienced the workplace fatality. So he knew exactly what I was going through and his support meant the world to me. And when I learned I was receiving this award, I called John after I called my wife, let him know that I was also dedicating this award to him and to Bernie who's no longer with us. John is a Habs fan. And during our conversation, uh, he repeated to me the John McCray quote that appears in the Canadian's dressing room. To you, from falling hands, failing hands, we throw the torch, be yours to hold it high. This quote is a call that demands that of those living to remember those who went before us, those who have fought and sacrificed so we might go on, it's a call to never forget why they fought or how they fought, so their sacrifice will not go in vain. That we may learn from their experience and be successful against whatever odds are stacked against us. So thank you, John, for showing me the way. And in the spirit of Jeb, Bud Jimmerfield, if I may be of assistance to anyone who needs it, I'm pretty easy to reach and I will do whatever I can to help. Thank you all very, very much.